In this series, I'm starting over as a broke level 1 player with the goal of becoming a GTA Online veteran. But in order to do so, I'll have to complete every objective on this list while having a limit of 2 hours a day to play. So with that being said, welcome back to another episode of Rags to Riches 2 hour edition. In today's episode, I'm going to be buying something that is a game changer. It's really going to help with managing my businesses and especially my passive money businesses which is perfect because I'm going to use it with the current double money businesses this week, which are the MC businesses. But in order to buy it, I'm first going to have to buy this building right behind me, a arcade. I have 6.5 million. I got it from doing a bunch of Kyle Prico heists and doing one acid lab cell mission. But now that we have the money, let's head over to the Maze Bank foreclosures website. In order to be able to buy an arcade, I first had to go over to this H on the map and then head over and meet Lester at Mirror Park. But once I had done both, I could now go here and buy an arcade. Now there are a couple, but I really don't think location matters much. And the other ones are about two and a half million. So I'm gonna go for the cheapest one, which is the one right behind me for 1.87 million. I'm also gonna get the personal quarters and now we could buy it for $2,025,000. Here is the arcade. And here we are in the basement of our arcade. I just finished the setup mission, which was very easy. You just have to steal a flatbed and bring it back. But now we're here and I'm going to take you through the three main benefits of the business. So the first thing is we could actually access the diamond casino heist from here. Now I'm not going to do this for the next little bit as it is a multiplayer heist, but this is a huge bonus of the business. The second benefit of the business is you're able to go here, purchase arcade machines, and they're going to make you passive income. So depending on the arcade machine and how long you have it running, they're going to give us a set amount of passive income every in-game day, I believe. And that money can be collected from the arcade wall safe. Now, I'm not going to put any money into the arcade machines now, but if I wanted to make some passive income with it, I definitely could. And this income is 100% passive because all we're doing is buying the machine setting it up and that's it but the thing that really matters today is what this video is based on and that is the master control terminal this is like a supercomputer. I'm going to be able to access a ton of my business computers from here which will make making money so much easier so we're going to buy it for 1.74 confirm we now have it and it's going to be right here in the basement of our arcade so Let's go down, let's sit into it, and I'm gonna show you exactly how this thing works. So in the master control terminal, we could see that we could access the nightclub, the bunker, all of our MC businesses, special cargo even, hangar cargo, and vehicle cargo when we eventually get it. And this is huge because it means that we don't have to go to each business to resupply, to increase our nightclub popularity. In this case, whatever it may be, we could do it all from one central location. So I'm going to go into this right now and we're going to be here in our cocaine lockup. And as you can see, I could resupply from here. I could do a or I could start a steel supply mission. I could even start a cell mission if I want, although it's not a good idea because we're not even close to the business. But today I'm going to go through and I'm going to purchase the upgrades and make money with the MC businesses because they are currently paying out double money, which is huge. So with the double money bonus, the Coke lockup is paying out when fully filled up $1 million. The Blue Stuff Lab is paying out about 900 k and the Cash Creation Factory is about $730,000, $750,000. So we can make tons of money this week and I'm going to combine it with going AFK to maximize our returns. But in order to make the most amount of money possible with the MC businesses, I first have to buy both of these upgrades simply because they're going to make more product faster and make more money. So as you can see right away after buying both of the upgrades, the stock we could sell for went for went from $80,000 all the way up to $105,000. And that just shows the impact these upgrades have. And as you can see, we also got some extra supplies and that is because with the upgrades, it uses supplies slower, which means we're maximizing our money. So I'm going to resupply here for $60,000. And let's now move on to the blue stuff lab. So over here, I'm going to buy the upgrades. I hopefully have enough money for all the upgrades. I think I'm pretty close already. We got both upgrades there. And then once again, I'm going to resupply for 75,000. And now we're here at the counterfeit cash factory. And unfortunately, I don't have enough money for the equipment upgrade. I don't know how I missed. And now we're here at the counterfeit cash factory, but unfortunately I don't have enough money to buy both upgrades. I don't know how I missed this. So I'm going to have to go make some money, some extra money, but the equipment upgrades going to be the most important. And then buying staff upgrade after is going to be the best way to go. Something very important to remember though, is every single time you're done doing something with the MC businesses, 
always make sure to disband as an MC because while you are an MC, your businesses can be raided. And if they're raided, you can lose all of your stocks. So make sure to always disband. Okay, so we're back here at the arcade and we could access a basement by going over here to the fortune teller or whatever this thing is. I quickly did two things. I got some money from my wall safe and I also did a quick nightclub sell mission. And now we're back at the counterfeit cash factory. We're going to purchase the equipment upgrade and we're also going to purchase the staff upgrade and leftover we'll have enough money for supplies. Now the reason why I buy supplies for anybody wondering is because buying supplies is way more efficient and it's a huge time saver. The time that you could spend doing the steel supplies missions, you could spend on a Kyle Prico heist or something else and make way more money. So buying supplies is always more efficient when you have the equipment and staff upgrade. If you don't have that, then you might as well steal supplies because it will not be profitable. But now that we have everything resupplied and everything set up, all I'm going to do, and this is the best way to make money this week, at least in my opinion, is we're going to disband as an MC president. I'm going to wait for the text from LJT saying that we got all the supplies at all of our businesses, and then we're going to go AFK. Now, for those of you who may not know what going AFK means, it's essentially when you leave the game running while you're not actually playing it, but the game thinks you're playing it, which means that all the supplies in the MC businesses will be turned into product, which we could sell when we get back. And the way to do it is if you have an apartment building where you have multiple units, all you have to do is go up to the front door. And when we get into this screen here, we could leave it there for many hours. I've left it for 10, 12, 15 hours. And when I came back, everything had still been producing. Now, like I said, I first have to wait for the text from LJT to make sure that all the supplies have arrived. And I've made sure to disband as an MC and a CEO so that I'm not going to be raided while going AFK. But this is essentially the setup to make tons of money this week. I talked about it in my guide on Thursday, but this is a very easy money method. And you can even mix in stuff like the nightclub and the acid lab into this AFK method. Now I could do this process for about five to six hours until my MC businesses are all the way filled up, but I'm only gonna do it for one batch of supplies. So it's going to take two hours for the Coke lockup to fully turn supplies into product. It's gonna take two and a half for the blue stuff lab to do so. And it's gonna take almost three hours for the cash creation factory to do that as well. So I'm gonna go AFK for about three hours and then when we get back, I'm gonna sell all the product for a huge profit. Okay, so it has been about three hours and we are back here at the master control terminal. I'm now going to check that all the supplies have been used up and if they have, we'll go and do the sell mission. So yeah, all the supplies have been used up, everything here and everything at our counterfeit cash factory. Let's now head over and make probably a million, maybe a million and a half dollars. Okay, so we're here at the Coke lockup and we're going to do the sell mission. We have $420,000 worth of product to sell. I'm actually very quickly going to resupply here because might as well. There you go. And then now we're going to get into our sell mission. I am selling in an invite only session simply because I don't want the chance of getting griefed. And it is important to keep in mind, and I'll actually go back here, that you can get multiple sell vehicles for these sell missions. So if you have one third of the stock filled up, you'll get only one sell vehicle. If you have two thirds, you could get up to two. And if you have it fully filled up, you could get up to three to four vehicles. So keep that in mind. So we're doing this. It will likely be two to three vehicles. Hopefully we get one of the easier missions. By far the worst mission to get is the post op vans. And we actually got the best mission where you only have to deliver motorcycles. So this should not take long. Let's get into it. I guess it'll probably take about 10 minutes to do, but I definitely got very lucky with this being my first sell mission. Okay, we're here at the drop off. This is going to be the first delivery. And the beauty of doing everything as an MC president is we could now go over here, go to our vehicles, and we can get the Oppressor Mark II right out from our interaction menu. Like I said in my last video, the Oppressor Mark II is going to end up being the vehicle that I pretty much use almost all the time now. It is so good, so efficient, and so I'd be sort of dumb to use anything aside from this. Okay, here we are at the second motorcycle. Like I was saying, this is by far the easiest sell mission. We're going to get it done in under 10 minutes. Now, something I do want to say, and I'm curious to hear you guys' opinions in the comments, but I have really enjoyed the past couple weeks where we've had double money on businesses again. For a long time, they didn't do it, and they finally brought it back. And it's just so good because it gives you an extra reason to come back and play the game each week. I believe nightclub, the nightclubs are going to be double money next week. So that's going to be insane. That is a crazy good business to have for double money. But this week is incredible as well. Considering you could make many millions by just going AFK for the entire week. I think it's 100% worth it. 
And that's why today I wanted to get the master control terminal so bad because it really is a huge help going and resupplying every MC business or just any business in general can be very monotonous and annoying. So being able to go to one central location and do all of that stuff all at once is a huge help. And here we are coming up to the second and final drop off. And there you go, 420,000, perfect for 420, which should be the day this video comes out. And just like before, I'm gonna disband as an MC president so I don't get raided on my way to my next business. Okay, we are now here at the Blue Stuff Lab. We are going to buy supplies for 75K and then we're going to sell stock. This time we have 535,000, not too bad. Let's see what sell mission we get. Every single time I'm crossing my fingers, no post-op vans. That's all we care about. You've got to be kidding me, man. This is by far the worst sell mission. These vans are extremely slow and they're going to have you go and deliver packages all over the map. Now we have 30 minutes to do it and it is possible as a solo player, but honestly, it's just not even worth it. I'm going to load into a new invite only session and I'm going to show you just how much product you lose if you do decide to do this. I don't believe it's much. F okay, so... <laughs> It is way more than I thought I would lose. We lost almost 100k, but that's not the end of the world. Honestly, okay, I, I, I'll i be fair. I regret that. I should not have. I should have just sucked it up and did the post-op mission, but it is what it is. Let's hopefully get a better one. We do. We get the helicopters. Not bad. Okay, so we are here at the airfield, and as you can see, there are two buzzards. For this mission, all we have to do is deliver five packages in each buzzard, and that's going to be the end of it. You could get a mission where you have up to three. That one is a little bit more time consuming, but two is not bad. And if we go here on the map, they're usually clumped together. So we got one here at the top of the map. And so I'm probably going to hit this one, go down and then go across like that, making like an S. Okay, so I decided to take a different route, but here we are, the final drop off for this helicopter. Now we have to go get into the other buzzard and do the same. And here is the final drop off. There you go, 446,000. Let's now go sell the counterfeit cash factory, except this time I'm going to sell it in a public lobby to maybe make up for some of the money I lost <laughs> avoiding the post-op van mission. Okay, so I'm here in a public session, and the first thing to do before selling in a public session, as always, is to check it and see what people are up to and if people are doing anything crazy. So everybody, for the most part, seems to be relatively passive not too much going on i don't see a bunch of people killing each other so hopefully this mission can go fairly smoothly but if not it is what it is so once again i'm going to resupply for 75k and then we have 551,000 uh, available to sell if we complete the sell mission we should make around eight hundred thousand dollars with the 50 percent high demand bonus being in an online session with 20 or more people so Hopefully all works out, but what cell mission are we going to get? This is the moment of truth. We are getting... How many planes? We have three planes. Okay, you know what? Not the end of the world. It's not the best, but at least it's not the post-op mission or anything like that. Okay, so we're here at the planes, and it's going to be just like the last mission where we have five drop-offs per. The only downside of doing things as an MC president, obviously we have to do that for these cell missions, but... The downside is we don't have the ability to use ghost organizations, so we're going to be on the radar the entire time. So from here, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to go straight down here, make a right, and then spend the rest of the time out in the water, hopefully not running into these guys here, and then finish off that way so that I could return back to where we are here. Now for this mission, I'm also going to have to stay at a fairly low level you could see fly as low as possible to avoid detection so i'm gonna probably have to take a few detours because i can't be flying low around the city where there's other people that might be looking to grief me okay so i'm coming up here to the final drop off of the first plane and i'm actually very lucky because i am wait what no someone destroyed my other two planes you've got to be kidding me i didn't even realize that that is tough. Okay, well, we got 300,000. Lovely. Well, in the end, I probably made about 1.1, maybe 1.2 million, which isn't too bad considering I only put in maybe 30 to 45 minutes of effort when it comes to the cell missions and then also resupplying. So overall, it was fairly profitable and I'm going to keep trying to make as much money with the MC businesses this week before we move on to likely a nightclub week next week. So I'm going to keep going AFK, 
keep resupplying them and sell them as many times as possible. So hopefully I've made maybe five to 10 million by the end of the event week. But aside from that, we accomplished two more things today. We got the arcade, which is another business checked off the GTA online checklist. And we got the master control terminal, which is another item. I'm very happy with both. And I'm glad that things are gonna be more efficient using the master control terminal moving forward. Anyways, that's all for today. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, please drop a like. If you're a new subscribe, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.